And the next one is cyclic process. A cycle wheel which repeats its motion and coming to the initial point after repeating one complete revolution. Such like that cyclic process also same. So what is the cyclic process? Okay, there are many thermodynamic processes what we have been discussing. In these processes are among these or may not be these. Some processes may experience the change in pressure, volume and temperature. And anyway, it is coming to the initial state and returning to the initial state. This process is called cyclic process. So a thermodynamic process in which a physical system goes through change in pressure or pressure volume and temperature changes so we can say the goes through pressure comma volume and temperature changes and returns to the initial state so a process where the physical system experiences the change in pressure change in volume and change in temperature and after doing this work completely the body is again coming to the initial state this process is called cyclic process as we discussed the graphs earlier the graph will be like this again it is coming to the original state so the area under this pv curve is a closed curve the area of this curve will give the work done in this process so work done is equal to area of the closed curve or we can write area of the closed PV curve this is along pressure this is volume so according to the first law of thermodynamics or first law of TD where TD is nothing but thermodynamics we can write dq is equal to du plus dw so as the body is again coming to the original state or initial state there will be no change in the internal energy no change in internal energy therefore du will become 0 therefore this equation will get dq is equal to dw so the amount of work done in a cyclic process is equal to the amount of heat energy supplied but it is an ideal case may not be possible in the whole soul conversion so the example for this is a heat engine the amount of work done in a cyclic process is equal to the heat energy supplied example is heat engine But this heat engine doesn't convert the whole soul conversion of the heat energy to the work. There will be some conversion remaining will be released in a form of exhaust gases, nothing but the loss. We will discuss in the next part. The next one is non-cyclic process. A 
yes in the term we are observing non cyclic means which doesn't goes to the initial state after the change is experienced that is said to be non cyclic process means in some process it is very difficult to retains the original state maybe in case of explosions a sudden diffusion of the gases from low temperatures to high temperatures these are all the examples for the non cyclic process therefore the thermodynamic process where system or where the system or physical system doesn't retain its original state is called non cyclic process so not possible to regain the original state after the changes have been experienced so what are the changes experiences delta p change in pressure delta v change in volume delta t change in temperature as this goes on what are the examples diffusion of gases second one free expansion of gases the area under the volume axis is called the work done in non cyclic process the area under the curve and volume axis is called work done in non cyclic process so we can state the definitions and examples for the non cyclic process like this if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus